Okay, guys, welcome to the Tuesday night call. Thanks for you, uh, those of you who have gotten on. We're just going to get started here, and hopefully we'll have a few more joining us tonight. Um, tonight's going to be just kind of open style. There's no presentation training. I've got a, a, a number of things to go through. Um, but with that, we're just going to start by sharing with each other things that are working, things that we've got going on, events, um, any struggles, any questions, just kind of open forum. So I know Kristen's got some stuff going on. You're going to share your shake party, I think. Yeah, so um, it's next Wednesday at um, Aaron's shop at Knockout, um, and I've kind of like made it into a challenge um, with T30, so um, I've gotten some <laughs> responses, but i um, hoping for more, um, but I was just going to do like a T30 challenge and um, create like a, a secret group so people can post and share like why they're doing it and um, maybe if they have questions or recipes and stuff like that they want to share. Awesome. So your goal with this is to invite people out to get them acquainted, taste the shakes, see what you're mm -hmm. up to, share your story, create some inspiration and um, hopefully have them leave, you know, excited about starting the program, the products. Yeah. So I'm also um, hoping I'm, a, I mean, I'm only, um, Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm not only hoping to gain more business from this, but also maybe just to get more um, people um, acquainted with the shakes and with our product. Um, but also, um, I mean, if they don't want to do the challenge, just kind of come and put your foot in the door sort of situation. Um, but also, um, I'm kind of making it like a bounce back from summer sort of thing. So you it's indulge too much. You've got kind of a theme going on. Yeah. How, um, so let me ask you. So it, that's at Aaron's knockout place. Is that the same place, Courtney, that you and I went to? And they're yep. all doing an event there? Mm -hmm. Does Aaron want, do you guys want to do the event together? Or is it, is it just Kristen? Um, it's kind of all three of us. I'm hoping, inviting people. Okay. How are you marketing it? Um, I have a an event page right now. And I've been posting in there every other day. Um, I'm going to post probably every day from now on um, since it's a week out. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of um, get people kind of intrigued about what it is. Yep. Um, and I'll probably send out the individual messages tomorrow just so it's like week out and people can think about it and maybe since it's individual, they'll all be like, oh, well, it's kind of a personal message. Like, she wants me to go, so. That's awesome. You're right on track. That's exactly what I would suggest to you. Um, you probably see, like, I do a lot of promoting for events. Mm -hmm. Oh, Daniel, taking it all off for us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You're on video. You're going viral on YouTube tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Alona had to laugh at that one. Um, so. Oh, yeah, look at those pipes. <laughs> So you probably see, like, with these events and, um, say, our Facebook parties, our business opportunity calls, how I do the promoting. And, like, as the days get closer, I do more and more intriguement posts to get mm -hmm. it simulated. So that's exactly what you want to do. You want to be a promoter, not an announcer. You know, mm -hmm. somebody who wants to grow a business, but then they create an event, and all they do is just do one event, like, on the Facebook page, with the details and then they add their friends and they never communicate, they never post, they never send out personal messages and they're always so disappointed when nobody shows up. But it's like, that's not inviting. You just added people to some event and you didn't make it personable. So I love that you want to make it personable. I would highly suggest that you uh, work together as a team. If Courtney invites people, um, you know, if Aaron does, if they're not wanting to, you know, you, you haven't met Beatrice yet. You guys are the same age. Y'all have young, fit friends, fun friends, <clears throat> you know, team up together, have that sideline together and like invite Beatrice, let her come with her friends. So then it's that, that fun atmosphere, you know, mm -hmm. but, um, building up to the event. Yeah, absolutely. Doing your posts and training posts. The biggest thing is voice and video. So they want to see your face and they want to hear your voice. So when you're inviting, you know, personal invites and video, um, voice message them. You know, hey, Kristen, girl, just thinking of you. I don't know if you noticed yet, but I created an event for next Friday night on Facebook. I would love for you to come back, you know, come by Knockout. We're doing an awesome, um, fun, you know, whatever, however you want to word it. We can help you with that if you don't have yours. Do it that way. Say, check out the event. I would love for you to be there. You know, mm -hmm. and then 
<clears throat> a video of yourself in, you know, in an upload it into the event. Hey guys, so excited for Friday night at Knockout. Can't wait for you to come check out my stomping ground, to come check out the gym, taste some smoothies, you know, whatever you said about getting out of summer and that theme and creating an awesome community of healthy, like-minded people together, that kind of thing. Get that, get that going. I think that will okay. really work out well for you. <clears throat> On her description, she wrote that there are different smoothies because you know how Knockout is the other company. Right. Um, so she wrote that there are different brand of smoothies. Right, right. right. Yeah. Too. So That's awesome. that would probably be something to really promote there is different brands. Yeah, because they're going to think it's maybe Herbalife or something like that. Um, right. Only branch yourself a little bit different. Do some shots. Um, you know, some pictures of you in, in, in the group, you know, eating healthy, do, just doing different things, getting away from kind of that Herbalife thing for them. So that would be my suggestion on promoting for that. Um, yeah. Does anybody else, does that, is that helpful? Is that good? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. That's going to be fun for you. Be excited. Here's the deal. <laughs> business is just about creating, creating excitement for people. So people like, I see so many of my friends or, or, or Facebook people, like they just went to this, you know, Roden and Fields and this and that, and they're so excited. They're getting started because that person that invited them was excited and made it passion filled and invited them personally. And, and just, you know, I think we get lazy sometimes and we just like send out stuff and just hope it works. It's like, that's, mm -hmm. that's not going to happen. You got to make people feel loved. You gotta have that relationship. You gotta just get into conversations over messenger with them. You know, yeah. another thing, another key thing for inviting I love is, hey, Kristen, you got any plans? Like, if it's your close friends, you know, if I'll text, I'll be like, hey, girl, do you have any plans next Thursday night? And I don't invite them yet. And if they say, no, I don't have any plans, or next Friday, no, I don't have any plans, I'm like, awesome. I'm gonna invite you. I would love for you to come. And then they'll be a total jerk if they don't come. They said they had no plans, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that always works too. Um, and what's the percentage too? Like an, uh, approximately, like if she had to invite, if she wanted ten people show up, she has to invite what? Like, oh, like over and I mean, hundred. Yeah. Like go crazy. It's a numbers game. Okay. You're gonna invite a hundred. Fifteen will say yes. Twenty will say yes. Ten will actually be committed. Three will get sick the night before. Like it's a numbers game. Just over invite and don't worry about it being a small location. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the fun part. So um, with that, so that's one thing. Anybody else have anything that they want to share? Any frustrations? Something that they're going through? Um, any exciting activity? Things that they're working on before we kind of get started? I just want to kind of leave it open and um, let everybody just help everybody tonight a little bit. I'm having frustration with people canceling my appointments with them. Okay. <laughs> it's not their fault, but it's just like everything, like it's they're sick or, you know, their kid is sick or, you know, it's just over and over or, oh, I, um, I can't do it this week. Let's do it next week. And then they cancel on me the next week after that. And then I'm done with them. Okay. Yeah, because you get frustrated and you want to completely yep. check out, right? Yep. Um, I think there's a couple different approaches and every situation is different. So try not to treat the week two person, you know, the frustration that you have with week two person out on week three, because some of them actually might be legit. Some might be bailers. Some might be, in, you know, who knows, right? So try to teach, treat each of them individually. Um, if it's sick, Obviously, it's sick. What do you do? You just try to reschedule. And, and then if they're not rescheduling or saying, just say, you know, like kind of you did with, um, it was a long time ago, you were talking about a girl that you got as a customer. You kind of said, you know what? I'm just trying to be mindful of my time. I, when I was going through that, I made myself seem really busy. My time is valuable and it's an honor for them to meet with me. And like my, you know what, Courtney? Um, I know you've had a busy week and you're canceling again. I'm really sorry about that. Just let me know if you're serious about this. I'm just jam packed. You know, I've got a lot of appointments this week. I would love to be able to work something out, but, um, you know, just make it seem like you're busy and it's an honor for them to get to sit down with you because of what you have to offer. Sounds right. good. That really works. It's just changing your, you know, instead of you being, not that I ever would think that you'd be desperate for their attention to meet you, but like, 
switch your way of thinking of, you have gold in your hand to offer them. Uh -huh. And sorry if they're going to miss out. Cool. Kind of attitude. And when you can switch that, I think that you'll get people's attention. Thank you. And when you're booking, which I know you do, and I don't have to say this for you because I know you do this, but I'll just let it for other people on the line. When you're booking, it doesn't matter if it's a conference call, if it's, um, you know, a follow-up, if it's a new meeting, you know, you are being attentive right at the beginning to let them know that you're busy. Um, awesome. I can't wait to meet next week. So, you know what? I've got a super packed schedule and I'm really mindful of my calendar because I only have a few school moments, you know, that work. And do me a favor. If you're going to cancel or something's going to come up, please try to give me as much notice as possible because I'm already pushing meetings into the following week. So I would, you know what I mean? Like, and then they know and say, I'm going to put it in my calendar. You know, can you do the same and set a reminder? So... That's okay. something else. But when it comes down to it, some people are just chickens and they, they don't know, you know, they don't know whatever, right? And so sometimes that's where maybe the relationship, the build up, the conversation ahead of time can be a little bit more where they're feeling like they're in that safe place. That's good. Anybody else? Anything? I have frustrations with getting uh, new reps from actually signing up to actually taking action and starting to invite and show initiative. Okay, so when you get them signed up, are you sitting with them when you sign them up? Like when they sign up, are they signing up on their own? Are you on the phone with them? How are you getting them signed up? Um, usually it's on the phone and then, um, or, you know, the link to the website or, um, Usually it's the link through the website because that's the easiest. It might be the easiest, but you might be missing communication and setting up the, um, the path for what's to lie ahead. My last couple of reps are out of state, so I'm not able to move them. No, but you have Zoom. Like, you know, get, the, get them on Zoom. Awesome, we'll get you set up. Get them on Zoom and in... in well, like, I guess I'm missing, I, I guess I'm missing, I'm trying to think of like, when I sign reps up, um, maybe you're signing them up too early. Maybe you haven't had that conversation early enough to set out what that's going to look like. Like, okay, I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll just say what I do because I don't know exactly what you do and maybe I can be a part of that for the next one or something. I don't know. But like my communications, when I start sharing with people the opportunity that there is an opportunity, I cast and, you know, and we don't expect brand new people to do this. Get us on the phone with your people. Let's do three-way calls all week long, okay? If you're new and you don't know how to do this, because you will get it and you'll learn so much by your sponsor if you utilize them for a three-way call to share the business opportunity. But, like, tonight I got on a conference call with somebody who just signed up, just signed up, and that call was about setting their goals, setting their why, figuring out how much money they wanted to make, figuring out how much time and activity they could do in one week to make that goal um, happen. So this person, you know, wanted to make a certain amount of money. I said, great. How many hours a week do you have to give to that? Cool. Okay. This is the, I said, we need to set up another meeting. So we set up another meeting for tomorrow at 1.30, which is basically her action launch. I gave her some homework to do. So like, Maybe you're not in the beginning when you're signing these people up. Maybe you're not um, doing that. Like, do, have you read the GoPro for um, the meeting part? Like, not the inviting. What chapter is that in where they go through that? I don't know what chapter it is. Anyways, I, I'll text it to you, Daniel. But I mean, I go step by step, like just finding out their why, digging, asking questions, you know, setting up intention, letting them know that it's not easy, letting them know that it does take time, but it's possible in that, you know, it really takes a certain, um, there's going to be things that are going to block them. There's going to be things that are going to cause them not to want to get started and get into action mode, but those are just fears and that will help them work through. So I take the time to really kind of cover the emotional aspect of this business casting vision for what is possible and being realistic with <clears throat> the work that needs to get done to achieve their goal. So I'm always asking them to share with me what they want out of this. And if you don't know what your team wants out of this, how can you help them? You know? So maybe you're missing figuring out what their why is. I don't know. 
that helpful? Well, Are you there? Like my friend and Ga- my friend Gabriel and and like I I don't know if it's a reflection of me, but it's like, well, I just want to kind of casually do this, and you know, it's like, you know, the, the whole casual like. Casual is okay. I started casual. I'm a national marketing yeah. director, like looking to make $25,000 a month. Now that's what I want. Okay. Yeah. Casual is okay. Well, most people start out casual, but casual doesn't mean you can't learn the system. Right. We can't help you pay for your damn products. If we can't get you to learn how to put products in the system, if we can't, and it's, it doesn't matter if somebody wants five customers, 25 customers for a qualified business or to grow a team, they still have to learn how to take care of those people and how to share effectively, how to put the orders in. And when you're doing that, and so you gotta say to them, that's cool, that's what you want, that's your goal, that's your why, that's, that's okay. You just wanna pay for your product. There's still some basics that we need to go over so we can teach you how to share and how to get out there and you know. And, and, and it, it might be that, the, I don't know if it's a reflection of what you're casting. You know, I find too many people, I don't think you do this, but I think you're going bigger, you're going, you know, you're going home is that, um, yeah, I don't feel like anything I'm doing is casual. And I, I, I find sometimes like I, I don't want to push anybody. So I'm, I don't know, maybe that fear of not wanting to push is, you know, not, I don't know. I don't know. What about what can this do for them? So we had someone the other day, I had someone message me say, Hey, I've got this person in my life. You know, they've tried the product before, blah, 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 but it didn't work out. Um, they're, they're this, they're that, they're active, they're out in these communities, they've got all these people, they've like this huge perfect, like you're just like boom, boom, juice plus, juice plus, juice plus, you want it, right? So she's like, what words can I use? It's like, wait a minute, let's stop and not talk about what they have, let's talk about what this business can allow for them. Right. So then we decide, wow, this person really loves to travel. This person really does not want a nine to five because of the way that their history is with this, okay? Like certain things, and then we were able to say, okay, let's just work on building the relationship for a little bit, and then we said, you know, I don't know if this would be an option for you or not, and then it was based, the way that we shared was based on what needs that we could meet for them. So we have to meet people's needs. If it's all about we want them on our team because we think they're gonna be really good, you'll never get anyone working. Right. We can share a vision to cast the needs of, you know, Jim, for instance, tell me, what need can we meet for you financially? Not that we can do this for you, but like what what could this business do for you? Jim, you with us? I'm with you. Jim's on Daniel's team, so that's why I asked that. Well, this this business can uh, get me to my financial goals. Okay, let's let's get a little. I'm just gonna do. Are you comfortable on this call doing a little role playing and just getting into a little bit of action here? Am I what? Are Are you comfortable getting into a little bit of action here and getting into digging a little bit deeper? Is that Is that comfortable for you? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Because this is important. Because I don't I don't even know this, and this is what I do with people. Um, you know, when when we're starting them off. So so let's just pretend. You know, you're brand new. I don't know anything about your goals. So awesome. You said yes to the business opportunity. Obviously you like the products. Um, you know, you like the products first and foremost, right? Absolutely. Great. And they're doing stuff for your health. Yes. Okay, cool. So why did you say yes to the business opportunity? If you don't mind me asking. Because I saw an opportunity to, to be financially free in within a year's time. Okay. Are you familiar with network marketing? Have you done network marketing before? Yes, I have. Okay, so you understand the system and, and the opportunity that's there. You, you've already got vision there for you. Oh, so, I do. Um, for you getting started, like obviously, you know, I hear a couple of key things. You want financial freedom, and that is different for every single person. You know, financial freedom <clears throat> to a single mom who just, you know, it m- might be that she just wants to be able to say yes to more things and to be able to do more things with their kids. That might look like $2,000 a month. Financial freedom to me might be unlimited income where I could do whatever the hell I want to do, when I want to do it, fly where I want, whatever. For you, right. what does financial freedom look like? I want you to be, not, not freedom, but for you, what kind of earnings per month will make an impact on your life to make it worth doing this? Realistically, 2000 to 3000 a month right now. Okay. 
2,000 to 3,000 a month at ASAP yesterday. Okay, so now I understand that Jim needs, he's, he's got a financial need and he, he's got some sense of urgency because he didn't say he's willing to work six months for that. He needs it right away. So Jim needs to get into action right away. So, you know, with that being said, you know, 2,000 to $3,000 a month, how many hours a week are you willing to put into this business, you know, getting into action, reaching out to people, you know, training calls like tonight um, to accomplish this? So right now availability for me is about 24 hours a week. Okay, 24 hours per week. So what Jim just told me, Jim, is that you're willing to put in 24 hours a week for a $2,000 to $3,000 paycheck a month, which I'm gonna say is very doable if you're willing to put the right activity, get into action, and actually put it in and do the work, okay? That's right. doable. If someone came to me and said, I have five hours a week and I want a $3,000 a month paycheck, I'm gonna tell them that that's not gonna work and, and I can't lie to them and pretend. I say, no, either we need to step down, it's okay, like I'm not saying that we can't ever get to $2,000 to $3,000 a month. I'm just saying we can't do that that quickly working five hours a week, it's unrealistic. You right. know? Or we need to open up and work more hours to accomplish that. So now I understand that Jim is really wanting to work. So you know, are you willing to be coached and guided? Are you willing to set up, you know, um, yeah. Or, yeah, okay. So yeah. with this, this is my, you know, this is what I just did with a girl tonight. This is my new distributor first kind of connection call is to set up what they want from this. Because if I'm going to assume what they want, maybe because I think I know, that's not enough. They have to attach to it. It has to be theirs. They have to own it. Because that's what's going to get them out of bed, right? It's not going to be because I think Jim needs more money that he's going to get out of bed. It's going to be, hey, Jim, you know, we really need, you know, you want to work on $2,000 a month. We got your paycheck to 1000 You know, let's kick it up a notch this month. But what that's going to take, Jim, is it's going to take weekly, multiple weekly, you know, connection calls. It's going to take accountability, um, you know, and then from here we lay out a plan. Okay, so if we want two to three thousand dollars a month, we need to get into team building right away because you know just being a customer um, collector is not going to work. We need to get into team. So then we need to make your comprehensive prospect list. Do you have that going yet? Already got it. Okay. Have you? Have you? 400 names. Okay, oh awesome. And have you profiled them into categories like transform people, tower garden, sort of like, so you know? I don't have that yet. However, I can work on that. Okay, I would say do that because then what we can do is what we call Fab Five, where each day of the week we're working in one category. So Mondays might be parents or grandparents with kids, Tuesdays might be transform people, Th uh, Wednesdays might be tower garden people. There, you know what I mean? So then when you're sending info out, you're not jumping from four different spaces trying to get okay. that info out. Does that make sense? So that's yes, helpful. Yeah. So, so with Jim, you know what I would do, and I, I want to move on tonight, but we can set up this meeting if it, if it hasn't already happened for you, is basically a lay it out. Lay it out and get your ass into action kind of plan. He's got this prospect list. Let's talk about those people. Who have we reached out to? What does that conversation look like? What's the follow up? And I don't expect new people to be able to do this on their own. I expect sponsors of SCs and above, qualified SCs and above, to be helping and pulling in their NMDs and QNMDs to help with this. Because this is not, you know, the whole thing is we get good at this by practice and practice and practice. And it's okay if we don't succeed every single time, but you're going to learn so much from your sponsors who have fallen on their face so many times, right? We've, we've kind of just... We've done it enough times to know what works and what doesn't. So we can help you with that. So it's just setting that up. And then, you know, I got off the phone today with that, with that distributor and I set tomorrow's meeting up because now I got to get her on Zoom. I got to get her in to the virtual office and show her some things and I need to see her list and I need to get into action. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, with that, I think I need to move on. I'm just going to check time here. I appreciate you just went a half hour. Is everybody okay for, for a half hour call real quick? Yeah. Another half hour, okay. Um, if you, if you got to leave us, I understand. We, we, uh, but I think that was good for us to go through that. Um, okay, so, you know, we talk about action all the time. You know, it, we are coming out of a summer slump. 
our team is, that's okay. It happens. It happened two years ago. This is the first time in two years we've been in summer slump. But what happens is, you know, one day off turns into two days off, turns into four days off, turns into a week off. And the next thing you know, we've lost our momentum and our mojo. Okay. That doesn't have to be the case. We can just kick it right back in the gear, but it's going to take, you know, committing to a new goal. So I want you guys tonight to think about your goal. What is your goal? What do you want to be for conference? SC, SSC, what do you want your pay, paycheck to be at? Maybe it's money that motivates you. You want your paycheck to be three grand. You want your paycheck to be 1500. What is it? I want you guys to pick a goal and I hope that you'll take notes tonight because I'm actually going to give you some action steps. Pick a goal and commit to that position and commit to that earning amount or that earning amount, okay? Whatever you want it to be. I like earnings. Earnings make, mean so much more to me than a position title, okay? The position title will come if you're doing the activity, get the earnings. So you pick a date. It's okay if you don't hit it by this date. I'm not telling you not to aim for your target. I'm just saying things happen, we get that, but pick a realistic date. What is your date that you want to earn $3,000, $2,000, or $3,000 a month by, okay? Let's create a plan. Again, get your upline sponsor involved. So for me, I'm going to tell you, my goal is to be 39 club, which means 39 qualified businesses underneath me by conference. We had a slow summer. We slid back seven clubs in the last couple months. It's okay. I'm not freaking out. Just get back in the action plan, action mode. So what do I do? I've got a whiteboard. I've reached out to every distributor on the team that I've worked with, and I ask them where they're at and if they want to continue and if they want to get working. If they do, great. I start helping them plan, okay? <clears throat> that's what I do for my distributors. And, and that's, you know, if, you're, if you've got distributors on your team, great, you're doing that. If you don't, that's okay. We'll get there. Personally, what I'm doing is I'm constantly recruiting new people. I've got four new recruits. In, in the pile right now that I'm working with avidly. I brought on five new orders this month because I need to be getting new orders to continue to get new distributors, okay? So I'm doing all the action steps that a new distributor would still do, plus I'm working in team building, finding out where everybody else is at. That's my goal. I lay it out on my list, who I'm working with, okay? Who are your prospects for your product if you're new, okay? When, and then, and then I work out what days I'm doing certain things. So I know that, you know, tomorrow I've got to do some serious prospecting for Thursday night's call. I got to get those people on the call. Okay. I also know that there's two team members that I'm working with. Okay. For you guys, it might be reaching out to people, it might be booking an event, it might be promoting for your, you know, your Friday night event, you know, Kristen. So you know, you need to pick you know, a goal of income or position, whatever it is, you need to set a date and you need to work backwards to accomplish that, okay? And if you need help with that, we are here to help you. We want to help you. Um, stay committed and break it down into daily activity. Commit to building for events. I don't care if you are brand new or you've been in the business for five years. You got to have events, Facebook parties, Tune in to the hit events, tune into the business opportunity events, create your own events. That's okay. It's cool. You don't have to tag along with us. If, if you want your own style, we're down with that. If you need any help or coaching on how to do that, let us help you. Um, there's, there's something called dream stealers, okay? We all have this dream of hitting the top and going beyond. Okay, we all want to be successful. Nobody wants to be a failure. Okay, we all have that burning inside of us. What happens is that slowly starts to, you slowly start to get insecure around that. And most of the times it's you that's causing it. You know, if things aren't moving as fast as you want or your upline's not doing what they said they were not going to do and they're not following through or um, your fears, you know, I'm afraid or I've gotten no's, I've got rejected, I've got all these no's, nobody wants to join my team. All of a sudden you start making excuses of why this business isn't going to work for you. I want you to stop that. That is a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. This journey is not perfect. It takes time. It takes commitment. It takes discipline. It takes self-knowledge. Like you've got to read. You've got to, you got to, you got to constantly be working on yourself and constantly be moving forward and being okay with if it's not happening as fast or if somebody says no, or if your teammate members flaked out on you again for the 10th time. Go find new ones. There's tons out there. There's a world waiting for change, and we need to get out there and, and make that change. But I want to tell you that, you know, 
we are the biggest reason why we don't accomplish our dreams. We all have these big dreams and, and that's all they are. Nobody puts them into, you know, puts the steps into action to make it happen. So maybe a couple focus areas. Um, I just got to take a little drink of water for if you are a new, I'm going to go new distributor. Okay. Distributors who have been around for a while, but are not qualified to qualified businesses to qualified SCs and above is what I'm going to do. These are focus areas. So, you know, for a new distributor, if you're new to this call tonight or you're listening to a recording here, your main, main goal is building a qualified customer base. Okay. What that means is that you're building, you know, you're getting out there. We told you about events. We teach, you know, we're teaching you. We're, we're that earbud in your ear whispering and how to reach out message. We're building customers so that you can become a qualified business. What is a qualified business? A qualified business is approximately 23 trio orders customers, 23 trio customers. Okay. If you were doing paid in full shakes, which you would all paid in full shakes and be 14 shake orders per month. But I gave that so you could see maybe it's only 19 or 18 trio orders and some shake orders because you can mix it up or 40 fruit and veg customers. You got to build that strong customer foundation so that you're qualified. What that means is you're carrying a certain number of volume. It works out to a monthly volume of, of a thousand volume every month that you are, that you are creating from your own customers. Okay. We want that because if you really want to grow a successful business, you have to be qualified to earn money on your team. You have to carry that thousand of customers. Okay. So that's our first goal. So to do that, we get into action steps right away. We help our distributors get into action steps right away. We book events for them. We're there. We support them. We coach them. We keep, you know, um, we'll help you with Facebook parties, all that sort of stuff. Um, in Canada, what that looks like is 17 trio orders for a qualified business, 26 two blends, 10 paid in full um, shake orders, okay, per month, every single month it would have to come through. The second thing for a new person, so we're working on customer base, is customer care. You gotta know how to care for your customers. If you don't, they're all gonna go away, but start all over, and your dream stealer is gonna come in. Okay, you've got to learn that. So there's a recording under videos on um, the Juice Plus, or pardon me, on our Facebook page, Team Rocket, of a customer experience, I think is what it's called. You want to watch that. You want to love your customers, especially if they're doing the Transform program. Hold their hand all the way. Happy customers become distributors. Every single person, I believe, on this call was a happy customer before they became a distributor. Um, I, might, I might be wrong with Jim and Daniel, but I know the females are. So that's really important majority of your distributors come from your, well, they come from your customer base. So if you don't have happy customers and the whole thing is it's easier to keep customers than it is to go find new ones. So if you take care of them, you can always just have that qualified business. I've been qualified for, I don't know how many years and some months, I mean, there are some months I don't get customers, but I always try to get, you know, one to five customers a month, but there's been tons of months that I don't, but I'm qualified because I have such a big customer base. Um, and that's important. Um, so customer care, you know, it's under the videos. You want to do that and put customer care into your weekly activity now. So not only are you prospecting, are you inviting to opportunity calls? Are you inviting to um, the hit calls? You're inviting to your Facebook parties or, you know, your smoothie parties, whatever. Now you're adding customer care into your calendar as well. Who are you calling to let them know that their order is ready to ship? You know, who are you reaching out to to see that they're getting into the habit of taking Juice Plus? Those conversations lead into the business. Oh my gosh, you're loving the Juice Plus. That's awesome. Just so you know, there is a business opportunity to this as well. Would you like me to send you some info so you can take a look? I think it's something you'd absolutely love. I remember you saying you didn't want to go back to work. Maybe this is something you can do to stay at home with the kids. Or I know that you're talking about your retirement fund being low. You know, maybe this is something you can use to offset it. Okay. So like those are the conversations that come from that, that then lead into distributors or then we can move, move on. So, you know, if you've been around as a distributor for a while, um, you know, and you're not qualified, you're going to just be a brand new distributor. I want you to build a brand new prospect list. I want you to update the old one, brand new one. I want you to get into action. I want you to you know, do Facebook parties. I want you to, you know, have some events. I want you to have some fun and create customers. That's all simple. Just pretend you're brand new, start all over. I mean, you know, you've got something in there, but just, just take yourself and just be new again. Um, 
<clears throat> and if you are a qualified business, you want to maintain excellent customer care so that you don't lose customers, okay? I mean, it's gonna happen. They do go or they become distributors, certain things, but again, it's way easier to maintain customers than it is to get new ones. Um, you wanna have a goal of three to five new customers per month, so that then if people do convert to distributors or do get overstocked or it's not working for them, financial problems, that you're still maintaining that qualification, so that's three to five new customers per month. Team building, 10 to 20 shares per week. You now, as a qualified business, I mean, you can, if you can fit this in as a new rep too, that's awesome, but I would say get yourself, you know, um, going on the customers, but if you're an existing qualified business, you should be doing 10 to 20 business shares a week if you can, which means you're reaching out to existing customers, friends, you know, you, shares, maybe just communication. If you're getting into different Facebook groups, whatever, and you're getting on there and, and you're creating opportunity for business, you've got to get out there and share the business opportunity because now you've already got 40 customers or 25 customers, depending on, you know, obviously it's going to be less customers if you have transform program going on because it's, it's more volume. But like, let's share with them. Let's share with your best friends. Let's find some new people. Let's get into conversations with people. Like what is going on in people's lives? Everyone's dissatisfied in one area, two areas to five areas of their life. You know most of them are financial, most of them are health. So just get into conversations with people. Meet new friends. Get out there, get into programs, join a new gym, go to a new fitness class, take a cooking class, go on to meetup.com and go when it cools off to hiking groups. There is so much out there on Meetup for you guys to join raw food cooking um, groups, all sorts of things. Go get tapped into a new market and build, build frontline team members. Three way conference calls are huge. Um, I think Daniel, for, I mean, we've been doing these. I hated them. When I was brand new, I would not get my, my people on a three-way call because I was intimidated by them. I didn't know what to expect. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expose my people to my upline NMT. Um, but I'm going to tell you, they are what grew my business eventually once I decided to. And I encourage you guys, you know, you can't cast vision when you're new. Um, you can't cast vision. You can't, you know, those questions I asked, well, I wouldn't ask them person just looking at the business the questions I asked Jim but um, let's just say you know Daniel sent me a video uh, of a conference call that um, someone from Advocare is doing it, it's very similar to what we do but I like the structure a lot more because there, there is a little bit more structure but what a conference call is is like you're brand new you're excited you know invite your friend to meet Courtney you know invite your friend to meet me invite your friend to meet Alona just say, hey, you know, I just started this new business. I think it's something you'd absolutely love. I know that you're into health and nutrition. Do you have 20 minutes for a quick call on Tuesday at 1 p.m.? That's it. You get on the call. You introduce them. You say why. You know, Courtney, you've got so much experience, which is plus as a pharmacist and as a health enthusiast. I really wanted you to um, meet my friend Allison so that you guys could connect and that Courtney could share a little bit about Juice Plus and, and the products and, and her, her story. And then you just sit back and relax, and Courtney builds the relationship part. She asks questions. She gets that person talking. Then she goes into what the products are, what we have, the program. She then goes into um, her story, her personal story, and then she attaches it to them. Is this something that you think you'd want to learn more about, something you want to be a part of? We're on a mission to change lives, you know, do you, you know and then you go from there. Um, so that's a great way to share, especially when you're brand new and you don't know what to say to people. Just hook, up, hook them up with a cup of coffee at a coffee shop, glass of wine at a wine bar, or a conference call. Hook your people up with your upline sponsor. Um, an upline sponsor, if you're not 100% on how to do this stuff, practice, 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 practice. Get with myself or Nicole or somebody and practice it until you've got it to perfection because that's what it takes. Um, <clears throat> At this level, qualified business, so you're, you're, you're going to tap into conference calls to, to share the business opportunity. You're going to tap into the Thursday night business opportunity, the, the other Zoom calls that are going on. You've got to work on your skills. You've got to work on your skills. You will not grow if you don't do self-work. You've got to be reading, you know, a couple hours a week, I would say 30 minutes a day on self-development type stuff, business leadership type stuff. You can't learn leadership by just trying to
to experience. Like I have had, I hate reading. I fall asleep. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's why I was a horrible student. I have had to force myself to read so many books in the last number of months. And I know it's just a lifelong thing that I'm going to have to do because I don't know how to be a leader. I suck at self-discipline. I am not organized. I have to be organized for this call. I have to be or else it's going to all flunk, right? What are you going to get from it? You've got to work on yourself. Okay, at this level, qualified business isn't above. You've got to listen and practice. The only way that I got good at what I do is by practicing it over, I had to box or note. <laughs> and I just sit there walking around my house practicing everything. Um, and I would listen to things over and over and over. So until I could figure out where I could fit that in and do it properly for myself. So whether it's sharing the business opportunity, <laughs> if you are not effective at sharing the business opportunity at your qualified business level, watch the videos over and over, the training videos that we've done, you know, to break down a compensation plan. If you're not confident doing a three-way call, watch the video. I think I sent all the leaders that other three-way call. You know, you've got to just practice this stuff. You've got to get it ingrained into your head so that you can get up there and nail it every single time with confidence. Confidence only comes when you know your stuff. Confidence sells everything. So if you don't know your stuff, you've got to get confident in those areas. Okay, that's what you're working on if you're qualified. If you're qualified SC and above, continue to do all of that stuff, okay? Um, adding frontline team members constantly. You are out there and you are a recruiter, you are a business builder, and you're there to help people succeed in their goals, making sure that you understand their goals. Spend time each week working with your team that you have. You can't be a sales coordinator without a team. <clears throat> Breaking that down by person, scheduling the meetings, scheduling the follow-up meetings from that meeting, having a plan going into that meeting. So you know what you're gonna be talking about, you know what you're gonna be sharing on, you know the questions you're gonna ask them. Okay? Um, create events for your team to invite you. Have events in your house, go out there, do social media, whatever your thing is. Get out their thing is, get out there and do it with them. So you know what, you've got to show them the ropes. You've got to be committed to what you said you're going to be committed to. If you're helping someone trying to hit VF, you have to be by their side the whole time. I don't care how independent they seem. It's not just checking in, hey, how are you? How's your day going? It's let's sit down, let's look at this. Who are the people? What are the conversations? Help them with wording. But more than anything, get them tapped into doing an event. If you're, if you're sitting here as, you know, working towards VF or trying to help people work towards VF and you're like stalling out, it's because there's not enough events. You've got to have people in their home or in a coffee shop or somewhere because you can get a group of people together and get multiple orders in instead of them just trying to go out and just each person, you know, does that make sense? Okay. Um, with that, it's 9.15. I'm going to open up the lines. Again, now I've gone over a lot of information tonight. <clears throat> we started, you know, with Q&A and just sharing. Does anyone have any questions? Is any light bulbs gone off or things that you're like, gosh, I don't know if I can do that. Like, tell me, speak to me. Okay, everybody's good. I don't know about anybody else, but did you, was that crackly for you guys? Is it crackly, the sound? It's not crackly for Alona? You heard him perfect? It was yours, is, yours is crackly for me. Just Daniel. Yeah, just Daniel. Yeah, sorry, that's what I was saying, no, because I heard you perfectly. I just, with Daniel, he's funny. It's your internet connection, Daniel. Okay. If you have a computer next time, if you're on Wi-Fi, I found mine would do that. If I'm on Wi-Fi, it does that. But if I put the cord right from the router in, it doesn't do that. For the mode, whatever that thing is. Into the um, phone? No. If I'm on my phone, no. I mean, I don't do it on my phone. Okay. I would. okay. Um, does anybody want to share or... I did a three-way call today, the first one. Awesome. How'd it go? with um, Amy's new distributors 
possible new customer. <laughs> That's awesome. How, so how, okay. So that, that wasn't a business call. It was, it was it a was possible more product. Mm-hmm. It was more product. So yeah, I just asked her a bunch of questions, asked where she was and she um, pretty much was like, oh, okay, you know, I have to look at my finances. I think I'll start next month. And I, so I turned it around and it was like, well, you know, if you, it sounds like you really want to get started soon. And I kind of went into the $6 a day. And what can you, what are you replacing? Right? You know, you're replacing two meals. It's not in addition to right. your grocery bill. It's actually replacing stuff. So, you know, it's, um, I can't remember exactly what I said, but basically she's like, okay, I'll order next week instead. Um, Cause she realized that she would be spending six bucks a day on two meals versus having to spend an extra six bucks a day on two meals. Awesome. So, so it worked out really well. That's good. Good job. Yeah. Did you find that video that Daniel shared? Um, yeah. Very helpful. And with that, she actually had, a, you know, she had a little bit of reservation about the costs and stuff. And so I was just, you know, I explained the whole grocery bill thing. And I also said, you know, if you have two other people, you can pretty much get your product for free. And so she's like, oh, yeah, you know, what? I do have another person that I'm thinking of. And so I said, okay, let's get her on a call, you know, mm-hmm. schedule a call. So just awesome. do Awesome. We'll see how that goes. Nice. Exciting. Yeah, that's awesome. Good job. Yeah. I think if we could get past people, I think that one of the things that I keep running up against is everybody wants to learn everything there is about everything before we start talking to their people. And then they spend a couple of weeks trying to learn everything. And then that's all, all the energy and the excitement is fizzled out. So I really like that three-way calling because – we can leverage us knowing everything that we need to, or not everything, but whatever most questions we're going to get, we can talk. And then the new rep learns how to respond to those questions. And we're just getting right to the chase rather than spending weeks trying to become experts on nutrition. In the meantime, not doing anything. I agree. And I think I know that was really hard for everyone to hear you because you've got a real bad, like static, but um, I think what Daniel's saying is that he likes this this process better because, you know, you spend so much time videos, sending videos, doing this. Like if you're on the Luke Wren call or <clears throat> had the opportunity to get on that call, um, it was incredible how the UK is just like cut and dry. It's like this is the product, it's fruits and vegetables. If you don't get it, move on. Like Like seriously, they don't spend all this time educating people the way the U.S. does. And I don't know why we have gotten into that habit or we feel we need to or maybe people just want more education. I don't know. <clears throat> but they were keeping it real simple and you know it's all about getting people out to live events and I know here it's really hard to get people out to live events I don't you know like I don't know why I mean, maybe the UK is different they all like to go out and party and drink and you know that's just kind of their culture whereas here maybe that's we'd like to do that but we're very guarded a little bit more and maybe I don't know maybe it's not maybe it's just what I think but I love the call because it's it's taking what Luke Wren said keeping it in its simplest form of duplication because how can you and this is where I think a lot of distributors get frustrated. And we've all created this and in, in, in our company has created this is that there's so much information out there on juice plus there's multiple videos for this. There's a video for that. There's this, there's that, like all of these things. And you're like sending your new people out to go chase after all this stuff. It's like, you know, it's really, really freaking stupid, simple. It's fruits and vegetables in a capsule vegan shakes like you either get it or you don't you know and so what Luke Ren is saying is like you know just share you know have your teacher people how to invite to either a live zoom event where the people can learn from the leader and then you know you're building up leaders and having them share as well but um or a, a local event and with the calls I love that advocate call that you know that's all she does is sit there and do three-way calls so it's like you know let's just say um um, Beatrice, you know, wants to share Juice Plus with her friend or the business opportunity. She's just going to say, you know, hey, Caitlin, just, um, you know, I'm wondering if you've got 20 minutes for a quick call. I've just started a new business and I can't help but think that you'd be incredible at it. And it's something that you'd absolutely love. I'd love to, I'd love to connect you with my friend Alona. And then, and then you just, and it's step-by-step process. You just listen to that call and you guys as leaders all have it in your, in your inbox. Um, you listen to it and you just keep, you break it down and break it down by juice plus. And, and just when I needed to get good at mastering things, okay, whether it was boss babe dinner, whether it's these calls, whether it's business opportunity calls, I sat and I practiced and I practiced and I practiced over and over. I wrote it out. I practiced it. I wrote it out. I practiced it until I can execute it off the top of my head 
like nothing. And that's what sells. And that's where you, as you grow through each stage, you get better and better. So you might just be building your customer base right now and you might be getting really good at that. Okay. Because you've had some experience with it. Now it's distributors. Now you got to get good with that. And then leading distributors, you got to get good with that. You know, it's, it's just a process. So practice makes perfect, but awesome. Anything else before we close out tonight? Anybody want to share their goals for the next couple months? Like I know we kind of started the call saying, um, you know, we're coming out of a real um, slow time. I think a little bit this summer. We're all trying to get ourselves going again. You know, it's time to recommit. What are we committing to? What's your goal? You know, what earning you want to make? What rank you want to make? You want to qualify your business? But I think more for anybody, it's it's income. Does anybody want to share their goal and what they're they're willing to do to to work towards that, or if they need help to achieve that? I want to share um, just a personal reflection. My summer's been super crazy with traveling and having my hubby come home, and um, I took time to like look at my calendar and sit down and start planning for what's remaining in July and going into August and September before conference. And what I noticed about my count, my months leading up to July is everything was full. I had all of the zooms written in all of the calls Everything was scheduled, the salad parties. My calendar was full of the repeating events. And then when I got to July, there I didn't, I didn't have the Zoom listed. I didn't have my image call listed. I didn't have my podcast call listed. It wasn't written. I didn't take the time in June to write it in July. So that was like huge to me. I'm like, well, no, I knew I was busy with the boys and I was busy with Matt coming home sooner than expected. And I just kept like, I'll get back at it. I'll get back at it. But then it wasn't, it, it wasn't scheduled. So it wasn't scheduled. It wasn't happening. Yep. So that was my biggest. That's awesome that you saw that. I, I totally agree. I, I've been there and it's, it's crazy. And it's just, it goes back to, <clears throat> Bob Smara saying, does your calendar reflect your why or er, right. your B? Yeah. So it was just like, oh, it's Tuesday or oh, man, it's, it's Tuesday. I, I just missed the meet your call or like, oh, it's 10 o'clock or I mean, it was always like right after I'm like, oh. And, and the thing with that is and, and what makes it really hard is, is that when leaders do that, it gets filtered down to the downline because mm -hmm. <clears throat> when, when I'm getting on a call or I have to host a call, I'm going to want to make it great. So I get out there and I start promoting to all the team members. But if I'm not, then I don't do that. Then nobody, you know, the people who are still trying to like get into the discipline habit, get into the, to the routine habit, they don't get on. So it's really important as leaders to, to do that because it, it affects so many more people than just you and, and which always affects the bottom line for, for your entire business, which is, it's, it's like that, you know, what is that saying? The pace of the pack is the speed of the leader or something like that. I don't know. I'll totally mess that up, but I always mess those things up, but it's, it's crazy. Yeah. I, have so I, was, I was just happy that I had the hit scheduled and I knew that the Sunday night, the Monday night, and uh, Thursday night, like that was, that was going, it was planned. It was yeah, on the, the, the calendar. Consistent. Yeah. With it. Yeah. Malona, wake up. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. You're totally passed out. <laughs> no, I'm not passing out. <laughs> your, your eyes are closing. Okay. Cause I'm not close enough. I'm not closing at all. Confusing. I thought you're closing your eyes. No. I'm here. Oh, that's awesome, Kim, that you, that you saw that, though. I, I, I totally, I had that moment where I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is the difference. Yeah. Well, well everybody's going to get back into routine soon. I mean, can't believe the kids are all back in school. I'm just going to hit stop record here. <laughs>